Thomas and Fergus, the traction engine, are friends. Fergus is the pride of the cement works. Fergus knows all the rules and, and obeys them. One day, Sir Topham Hatt brought devious diesel to the cement works. I need diesel to help for a while. Fergus, please show him around. Yes, said Fergus unhappily. He knew that Diesel could be trouble. Later, Diesel was being careless. Not like that, snapped Fergus. Do it right. Don't interfere, sneered Diesel. You don't know the rules, shouted Fergus. Diesel was very annoyed with Fergus and started plotting a devious plan. Later that day, he pretended to have news for Fergus. Sir Topham Hatton wants you to work at the smelters. Me? But I'm the pride of the cement works. Not anymore. Sir Topham Hatt says I'm better than you, so I'm going to stay here. It's not fair. I love working here. But he knew that really useful engines have to do as they are told. <laughs> Fergus and his driver arrived at the smelters. I want to go back to the cement works, Will Fergus. None of the other engines like coming here. It's so scary. You're right, said his driver. Just then, the scrap diesels arrived. Hello, are you happy to be here? No! cried Fergus. His driver was scared too. Come on, Fergus, we're going to escape. And for the first time, Fergus broke the rules. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying a tasty fish supper when he heard that Fergus was missing. That's not like Fergus. There must be something wrong. I will send Thomas to look for him. Fergus and his driver turned onto an unused track to find a place to hide. And Fergus was frightened. So was Thomas. He puffed up and down the line. He couldn't see Fergus anywhere. We could search the old mine track, said his driver. That line is dark and spooky, whispered Thomas. But he had to be brave and find Fergus. Fergus was on a siding. His fire had gone out. Then he heard a sound. It's an engine, he cried. Fergus, whistled Thomas. Whatever are you doing out here? Hiding. Don't want to work at the smelters. Sir Topham Hatt is going to be cross with me. He's not, cried Thomas. He's worried about you. Really? Of course, puffed Thomas. Fergus felt better. Thomas pulled Fergus all the way to the smelter's yard. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. Fergus, explain yourself. I ran away. It's scary here. Diesel told Fergus that you wanted him at the smelters forever. Nonsense, Fergus. You are the pride of the cement works. I shall send Diesel to the smelters, and you can go back to the cement works tomorrow. Oh, thank you, sir, said Fergus happily. Fergus knew he had a good friend in Thomas. And he was still the pride of the cement works.